going on Team Twitter? I hope you're all super well. We're heading off to the game. Well, we're gonna go get lunch first and then head off to the match. It is boiling today, man. Super, super hot, but you know, every day is a good day to play some football. So we stayed up here last night. It is so bright. We got Lucy up here as well, who's going to be filming. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, of the time you have. Yeah, so look, I don't know how long I'm gonna get today. It could be five minutes, it could be not at all, or it could be half an hour. We'll just have to wait and see, and whatever time I get on that field, I just gotta make the most of it. So let's head off to lunch. I'll catch you guys down there. Still got a while to go before the game. Lucy, what did you pick up? Uh, Pokeball. Yum. And for me, I got a, what was it, pork belly? Uh, eggs Benedict. Eggs, pork belly, eggs Benedict. So I got some carbs there. Look, we still got ages before the game. And I'm on the bench, so I've still got a while before I have to fully digest this, which I did keep in mind as well. I always prepare differently depending on the circumstances, but this is lunch. We were waiting for this, we've been waiting for a while. I'm hungry. <laughs> right, this was, Obviously no game footage. I didn't film for the rest of this day. I'll take you through it. So I was on the bench and two other wingers came on before me and I didn't end up getting onto the field at all. We went 1-0 down in the first half. We came out and in the 83rd minute I was set to come on and the coach said to me, Sheldon, you're going to come on and change this game. I went, all right, I'm your player. Let's do it. So I get that 83rd minute, 84th minute rolls on. I'm just about to come on. The ball hadn't gone out yet and before the ball had gone out, we scored to make it one all. Plans changed, then we defended for the point. So look, from there, I didn't end up coming on at all. And yeah, look, true emotions. I was frustrated. Uh, you know, no one wants to go to a game and not play. I think we can all agree, no matter how much the team matters. Yes, for me, I was happy that we went to this team, the strong club, went up there, got a point. That is brilliant. But as an individual, we all want to play. And it's very frustrating when you don't play at all. So for me, you know, I, I kept it real. My real emotion was, okay, yes, I'm angry, but there's no point in being angry right now. So, you know, I kept it professional. I made sure that, you know, I, I was a professional player, especially around the other guys. You don't want to be feeding other players a negative attitude. I wanted to be happy because we went up there, we got a point. Yeah, three points would have been good, but hey, We'll settle with a point. So why do I think I was on the bench? For me, I think it comes down to possibly a few defensive errors and maybe it was a tactical reason he wanted to put someone in at the wing position who was a bit defensively better than me, which is okay. I understand that's something I need to first off get my head around about defensively where I need to be and then secondly, be more aggressive in defense. And that's really going to be my focus. And then obviously I missed a couple of shots on the weekend where I should have scored. Do you lose your starting position over that? Maybe, I, I'm not sure. I had a brief conversation with the coach. I won't go too much into it, but it was, I'm 99% sure that it was due to tactical reasons. And for, for all I know, I, I could be starting next weekend. I, I could be on the bench next weekend. I could be playing reserve grade next weekend. I really don't know, but again, it comes down to what can I control and that's my performance this week at training. So, you know, I'm filming this a few days after because obviously right now when vlog time, I was up in Central Coast with Lucy and I just wanted to spend time with her and get my mind away from football because it's one of the darkest times when you don't get on the field at all. You, it's, yeah, you really go into a dark place and start to question a lot of things and I would say that night was very very tough for me. I was thinking very negative thoughts and that's okay for that night and you'll see tomorrow I really flick the switch and you know get back to focus mode. So that's all and I said in yesterday's video do I think I'm not good enough to be at this level? No way. There's a reason that I started the first three games but then there's also a reason I didn't get on this game at all. I think it's pretty clear the things that I need to work on and yeah, man, I think I'm getting better every single week. So look, I, I said before, my goal was to start in this team round five. It's round five coming up this week. Round four just passed, I've started three games. So look, I'm gonna give myself time. It's okay, this season goes for 26 weeks. Every player in their career has been put on the bench at some point, and I'm okay with it. Like I always say, the team comes first. If we need to set up a certain way and I'm not part of the plan, 
look, yes, I'm going to be upset, frustrated, whatever it may be, but if that way we set up gets us three points, a point, whatever we want, then hey, that's okay. But I tell you what, I'm gonna be trying my best this week at training to try and fix those errors so that I can be part of that plan to be starting for this team and try and get that three points. Because like I said, I think I'm getting better every single week. My performances are improving. It's just a shame when the game time comes around, there's nothing really to show for it. So look, I'm back on focus mode. You can say I'm bad, you can say this, you can say not good enough, you can say I'm never gonna make it. But you know what, it really doesn't matter, man. I'm pushing for myself, I'm not pushing for anyone else. If you think I'm not good enough, hey, that's cool. You're not the coach of this team. And right now, the only opinion that matters is the coach of this team. So we'll see, it's a journey, it's a process, and you gotta trust it, you gotta work with it, and you gotta keep going. So I'm gonna end the vlog there. Team Tweet, I'm signing up. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're on here. Join Journey, I'll see you next Yes.